Yes, it is finally happening. Congress is passing a new stimulus bill very soon. Joe Manchin is now meeting with Republican lawmakers to gain their support on President Biden's spending bill. Now, many people will be receiving an $800 stimulus check very soon, so you want to continue watching this video to never miss out on the very important stimulus check information, and we have a ton of good news to cover. So the majority of people in Colorado are eligible to receive $400 to $800 stimulus checks from the state government due to the Taxpayer Bill of Rights passed in 1992. Most full-time residents have already taken in the necessary steps to get their check mailed to them this summer, filing their 2021 state income tax return. Any full-time resident who hasn't been filed can still claim and ensure they get a check by filing out a submitting form by May 31st. However, a lot of residents, including many veterans and seniors, do not regularly file state income tax returns and they have questions regarding their eligibility. Folks, the answer is yes, you are still eligible to receive the $400 check for single filers and $800 bucks for joint filers if you are a full-time resident. According to Colorado Governor Jared Polis, there are additional benefits to filing state and federal income tax returns even if the taxpayer owes little to nothing. He said filing a return ensures that any access, excess withholding tax is refunded and they may also be eligible for valuable refundable state and federal credits like the earned income credit and the child tax credit. This is the same requirement for people in Colorado who claim and receive payments for the six-tier flat sales tax refund mechanism that would normally refund the money at filing time next year. All eyes are on Joe Manchin as he moves forward with negotiations on President Biden's Build Back Better bill. Reporters have asked Senator Manchin and GOP senators about the claim in a new book that mentions he will be willing to switch to the Republican Party if Senate Republican John Thune were the Senate GOP leader instead of Mitch McConnell. Manchin told reporters today that Republican colleagues frequently ask him about switching parties and that he never seriously considered leaving the party. The banter between Manchin and his Republican colleagues is reinforcing doubts that he will not sign on any point this year to a partisan reconciliation package to enact major elements of Biden's domestic agenda, with 50 Democrat votes and no GOP votes. Democrats also have taken note that Manchin's opposition to various Democratic initiatives appears to be playing well back home. According to a report, Manchin's job approval rating in West Virginia has jumped by, by 17 points compared to a year ago. For decades, the trickle-down on economics has failed as income inequity grew to historic levels under the Republicans, the mega Republicans, the MAGA Republicans. I don't want to mispronounce it, the MAGA Republicans. This is time to grow the economy, but from the bottom up and the middle out. Because here's the deal. When the poor have a ladder up and the middle class grows, the wealthy always do very well. They do very well. That's what this is about. That's what this is about. Everybody doing better. And so I want you to understand, again, first year, $350 billion reduction in deficit. This year, a trillion five. It's going to bring some relief. Thank you. I take a few questions quickly. Let me ask you a question about sanctions. Uh, the EU, about sanctions against, or about further sanctions in, in Europe. The European Union today announced new sanctions against oil, against Russia. What's the next round for the U.S.? And, and also on a separate issue, What's the next step on abortion once this case gets settled? I want to ask about deficits, huh? I want to make sure this doesn't get covered. Okay, here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to answer those two questions, and then I'm going to go out to talk to the Olympians. With regard to the additional sanctions, we're always open to additional sanctions, and I've been in consultation. I'll be speaking with the members of the G7 this week about what we're going to do or not do, number one. Number two, uh, what was the second one? You want, uh, oh, look. And the second one was on abortion. As I said when I, uh, um, when this hit as I was getting on the plane to go down to Alabama, um, this is about a lot more than abortion. I, haven't, I hadn't read the whole opinion at that time. But this reminds me of the debate with Robert Bork. Bork believed the only reason you had any inherent rights was because the government gave them to you. If you go back and look at the opening comments of the Bork Biden when I was questioning him as chairman, I said, I believe I have the rights that I have, not because